Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do another review here. Uh, you got Scott with Bullet Outdoors. Uh, and I'm gonna review the new Jiffy Rogue 2.0. Um, what you're getting this year from the last year's version is you're getting the same power head, but it's been reprogrammed. They've come up with new programming to stop that cutting out feature. For those of you that had the cutting out feature, those of you that didn't, everything was good. Um, Batteries are the same. When I got mine in the mail, when it showed up, at, you know, it was two, two bars out of three, threw it on the charger, all was well. The big difference is right here in the flighting. Uh, I'll start with the little stuff first. The edges here are rounded over. I'll just show you here at the different camera. So right in here now, these edges are rounded over so they won't catch on the ice. So that's rounded, rounded, rounded you know they're all rounded all the way down um, there is way more rubber compound so they're more pliable more flexible you're not getting that breakage where we were getting that last year i didn't have mine break but i did hear some people did um, next you're not getting the the uh, easy snap lid this time uh, you got the old bungee cord here but that's okay we'll pop that off this is where the big change comes so i'm going to get this on this other camera two hybrid shaver ripper blades um, three screws in each there is still the centering pin there uh, it's a different shape it's actually kind of intriguing i uh, can't wait to see how that works but uh, i did use this drill last year i was able to sample it out uh, I'm going to insert some of that video clip in here now so you guys can see it, but a uh, huge difference uh, for speed. We were drilling late season, late March with the prototype. Uh, it was almost two to one uh, speed ratio. I just about got through two holes. Um, like maybe I would have had to kept the auger spinning, but I did and I stopped it. But, uh, you know, Jiffy's come out. They admitted fault last year. They had some issues, you know, that it happens. They've, they've fixed it. They fixed the issues with the braking. They've fixed the issues with the cutting out issue for those people. And they've changed the blade system. And this thing, it cuts, it's insane. Uh, I was super, super impressed with it. Basically still self-feeding. So you're not sitting there pushing down on your auger. It does the drilling for you. Um, I'll try and get a different angle here on the blade. Just to give you an idea, you know, you got shaver slash ripper, that red will come off, that's just paint. Uh, it's very similar to the hand auger. So those are the main differences in this, in this auger. Uh, I don't know what the prices are this year, Canadian or US, I'm in Canada, so my prices are always higher. Um, that's, that's basically it, this thing rips through the ice. It, uh, it did everything, you know, the, I asked it to do last year when I did have the old flight with the ripper blade and the new programming in the powerhead last year my cutting out issue stopped as well there so they did fix it last year they've tweaked it over the summertime and they still have the five-year warranty so if you are having issues with your flight or your auger your powerhead whatever it is get your warranty center get them a call and uh, they will definitely take care of you if he's standing behind this product so Get out there and uh, my next video, I don't have enough ice yet to get on the ice to safely make you a video, but I should have it here in the next uh, week to 10 days. So I will get out there and I will start drilling holes with it to show you guys and I'll try to bring a friend out and drill you know, side by side again. But like I said, I'm gonna have a video with a prototype from last year. We're gonna insert it in the video so you guys can watch it. And uh, that's it. So main points, reprogramming, more rubber in the flight, rounded off the edges of the flight. And the main one is this right here, this shaver hybrid ripper shaver blade, dual blades, still with the centering pin. And uh, it's welded onto the center shaft. So it's, it's not replaceable. It is a totally different. This is an eight inch flight that I have in front of me. There is also a 10 inch uh, with the ripper shaver combo. Hi, they're calling it the hybrid drill assembly. So. This is it, it's, uh, it's the future of Jiffy and uh, we'll see how you guys like yours when you get out there. I know, like I said, I tried mine. I was really impressed with it last year and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, there's definitely more to come on this stuff. Thanks for watching.